Uh oh, white truck shooting off a check engine error code. No. I highly suggest one of these. This is a blue driver, Bluetooth diagnostic reader. Plug it in to the port, which is underneath here. Once you have the app downloaded on your phone, all you gotta do is open up the app, connecting the sensor, found blue driver. Be patient, be patient. Okay, we're connected. I go up here, scan codes, check engine. Scanning two codes. Confirm the odometer. Here it is. Cylinder one. Glow plug. Open circuit. Well, that's piece 0671. Well, good thing I got one of those, because that's happened before. We're gonna change glow plug on cylinder one. So one is on the passenger side, closest to the front of the vehicle. It's one, three, five, seven. Seven's closest to the firewall. So we're gonna go do that on the other side. Let's do it. All right, these are the tools you'll need for this job. So right angle drill, some free all because nuts will be rusty. Glow plug will be a little rusty coming out. You need a replacement glow plug. Got mine on Amazon. I don't know how much it was, less than 10 bucks, I think. Torque wrench, ratchet, extension, some anti-seize. And then these are nice to get the rivets off. The body work. 10 millimeter wrench, just use that to disconnect the battery. Need a couple of sockets, deep socket 12, an 8 millimeter, and this one is a 7 millimeter to take off some of the screws for the fender liner. Wire brush, uh, some sandpaper because the terminals are rusty. Screwdriver, I use an impact. Impact you'll see is really handy to, to break some of these things free. Flashlight, that's it. And I bet the whole job took one hour. Step one. We are going to disconnect the negative side on the battery. And try to do this with a wheel on. So where this one is, which is number one, it's the first one to the front. We're going to take this panel off and hopefully we'll be able to see it right there. This tool is helpful. A little rivet remover. That's a screwdriver one. Amazon sells a pack of these for relatively cheap. A box of them, various sizes. It's always good to have these on hand because they're notorious for breaking as if you worked on any body panels, you know what I mean. They're plastic, they dry out, they crack. This is one of those aftermarket ones that I got on Amazon. You can get ones that actually match what comes out of here, but I like the screw on one. This is my setup. A quarter inch drive, seven millimeter socket. I put it on a right angle drill. The reason that came off is because of that one right there it was hiding behind this. This is always my least favorite part of the job. So with that panel off, that wire coming down right here, that's it, that's the glow plug. See, it's all rusted, pretty clean. That one's pretty clean. That one's pretty clean. I'm hoping I can get that nut off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot it with some free all first. I think I've had these where the nut has actually rusted right to the terminal eyepiece. So this is what it looks like, new. That's the glow plug. That's all it is. So first, we spin this nut off and we can take that lead off of it. 
And then we put maybe a 12 millimeter. This is an eight. This is a 12, I believe. We can spin that out of there. When we put the new one back in, we want to put anti-seize on the threads. Let's try to get that off. First, I'm going to spray it. So it is an eight millimeter, and that is all rusted. Got to break that free. Eyelet is turning with the rusted nut. If I hold that up and then impact this, ready, steady, go. Got it. Ah, sheared the thing right off. Impact again. Put a bigger battery on. Let's see if this works. There it goes. Oh. There we go. There she is. Maybe it's black. She's not burning properly. You can see the edge, the end of it got sheared right off when I. There's the other piece. All right, we're not going to get too wild with this, but here's the Permatex Anti Seize. Here's our new glow plug. Here's the threads. Just gonna put a little bit, a little bit on the end. All right, that's all we're doing. All right, I'm gonna tighten it by hand. There she is. I noticed that little eyelet here for the wire is very rusty. I'm going to uh, clean that guy up. Got a little piece of emery here. Much better. All right. Taking that off first. All right. Here goes the lead. This was the eight millimeter. We are done. That's it. Now I've just got to put the, the panel back on and uh, fire up and hopefully get rid of that engine code. All right, that's it. That was pretty easy. I'd say it's it's on the easier side of things. Let me know if you have any questions, better ways to do it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, all right, thanks for watching. See you next time.